that's quite a comeback, two games in one day. Were you expecting it? No, obviously, the um, plan was to get um, as much minutes in the reserves game this afternoon and then after about 25, 30 minutes, the gaffer and um, the coach and staff asked me, like, uh, are you willing to be on the bench tonight and see how it goes? And, yeah, obviously, like, I just want to be back playing and stuff. Um, obviously, I've got to look after myself as well, but I just want to be back on the pitch with the lads and help us get back to where we should be. Yeah, one thing being on the bench, but then having to play for a good half an hour and playing well as well, looking sharp. Did you enjoy being back on the pitch and linking up with the way you did with Marlon? Yeah, obviously loved it. Uh, Marlon's brilliant and um, I've gone well with Marlon in the last three, four days, um, been training with him. Uh, I think we linked up well, but just frustrating that we, we couldn't get anything at the end of it. Um, uh, a lot of words were said in the changing rooms after the game and we need to get back to the way we started the, the season. Three months out of the first team with the stress fracture of the leg, which has been a frustrating run, I know. How, how's it, obviously, you're feeling OK now. No, it feels good. Um, it was really frustrating because obviously after about two, three weeks, I had no pain, but it's just one of them where it's a stress fracture and I can't load it too quickly. So I had to wait a good six to eight weeks until I could start doing any kind of running. And then, um, yeah, it's just been a slow build-up, but I'm just made up to be back out there with the lads now. Yeah, as you say, you've got to look after yourself, and I know the medical staff will do, but hopefully this is you back for good now. And with half a season to go, still plenty of football to play. Yeah, definitely. Um, I feel I feel good now, so I know all the, the staff and the, uh, the physios always look after me, so I'll just look after myself in the training ground and uh, on how much I, I'll do. But um, I just want to be back out there with the lads um, every game and um, obviously help us get back to where we should be. It goes out saying there's a frustration around at the minute because the form's just, just deserted just a little bit at the moment. But as you say, everybody's going to presumably pull in in the same direction just to determine to turn this round. No, definitely. That's what we said in the changing rooms after the game. Um, listen, we're a good team when we, when we do play, but we need to do the ugly side a lot more as well. Um, we need to compete a lot more because um, that's what they do. Wickham, they're very good at it. They, they compete, they're battlers, and they obviously got out of this division to the Championship playing that way. So we looked at them and thought, listen, that we need to do more of stuff like that and keep doing what we're good at as well. Because when we do do it, we do it in the training ground every day. We had we had a glimpse of it the first half, glimpse of it the second half today. Um, but we just need to be more consistent like we was at the start of the season. That's it then, Geth. The manager's talked about leaders. You're one of them and you've been made, officially made vice-captain. Are you pr proud about that? Yeah, I made up. Um, obviously... Um, we had Doyle and Sars that was here before and then Rico took, up, took over the captaincy so I've took all, all the leadership skills they've had and I've grown from that so um, hopefully I'll make a good impression and take over the role well.